the Grand Theft Auto series, Rockstar's Baby, and one of the most influential, discussed, and praised game series of all time, and for very good reason. These games since the beginning have created amazing open worlds and environments with colorful, intriguing, and mysterious characters, great missions, overall gameplay, world design, side content, everything you could want in an open world experience. But there is one part of that GTA experience that even Rockstar themselves didn't intend to create, at least at first, and that is the myth and mystery aspect, which have been a huge part of this franchise since the early days, creating some of the most interesting urban legends in gaming, some that rival even their real life counterparts. People spreading around rumors of a secret figure hidden in the woods, or maybe some post you saw or some blurry screenshot of some kind of cryptid. It was these myths and urban legends that fueled a lot of us to look through every bit of these intricate worlds that Rockstar created. From aliens and UFOs, to depraved serial killers, Sasquatch, and other cryptids, to hidden easter eggs and references. There is just so much to unpack when it comes to myths in the GTA games. So today, in the super cut format, we're going to take a look at these myths in the mainline 3D GTA games. But don't worry if you've already seen some of the individual videos, there's something here for you too, so stick around. Because we have a couple more bonus entries for each game, but we're also going to cover GTA 3 as well. So without spending too much more time on this intro, let's jump into the myths and legends of Grand Theft Auto. Bigfoot By far the most infamous myth in not just San Andreas, but all of GTA and maybe throughout all of Rockstar's games. Truly one of the great early mysteries in gaming, basically starting this trend of cryptids and myths being talked about in San Andreas, originating all the way back to the early days of the game's release, and basically starting this whole myth hunting community, with dozens of reports coming in from players claiming to have seen Bigfoot roaming the San Andreas countryside, with even some photo and video evidence popping up to support that. Although that was also around the time that modding, including Bigfoot mods, were getting big, so there was no real way to tell if any of these claims were true. But by most accounts, Bigfoot was just seen walking around the forest and would run off if the player got too close, although some did claim that they were even attacked by Bigfoot. But there wasn't really much else in the way of evidence, except there was someone named Bigfoot, who was credited by Rockstar in the Thanks To section, although this was merely a nickname for a Rockstar employee. But eventually, Rockstar did put the issue to rest when, in an interview in 2005, Terry Donovan stated, quote, There is no Bigfoot, just like in real life. So then, that's it, right? Well, not quite. Some people still believe Bigfoot is really out there in the game, even with Rockstar's statement, as well as the fact that any model or texture related to Bigfoot could not actually be found in the files. Although on the bright side, Rockstar has since embraced the Bigfoot myth, and has put him in both GTA 5 as a final mission when 100%ing the game, and in the Red Dead Redemption Undead Nightmare DLC, so maybe this really isn't the last we've seen of Bigfoot in Rockstar's games. Leatherface. This was another very popular rumor where it was said by various users on GTA forums that there was a killer seen wielding a chainsaw in the Panopticon, leading him to be known as the Panopticon Killer or Leatherface as he was more well known due to the various similarities with the character from the famous film Texas Chainsaw Massacre, as the killer was said to wear human skin and attack using a chainsaw. Now, most of this speculation stemmed from people claiming to hear strange noises at night in the Panopticon, those being chainsaw noises. But eventually, it went far beyond that, and escalated to people actually straight up claiming to see the masked killer, stalking about in the woods, revving his chainsaw. While some also even claimed that they were actually attacked by Leatherface, usually from behind in a surprise attack. Interesting to note also, in that area, a chainsaw pickup can actually be found, but of course this is most likely here for just cutting down trees. But it has also been claimed that if you leave the game idling in the Panopticon area and come back later, your character will be at the hospital, 
the explanation being that you were killed by Leatherface, although this has never been proven in any way. There was also another rumor for getting Leatherface to appear, and the way to do this was to go to the Panopticon and freeze the time at 0, zero and then unfreeze and repeat for a few days, and eventually Leatherface would spawn. Some people also even point to a statement Rockstar made about the Panopticon as evidence of Leatherface's existence, where it states, quote, At the very center of the state of San Andreas, Blueberry is a farming community, and home to Fleischberg Brewery. To the west of a local farm, Blueberry Acres lays a large hill, known locally as the Panopticon. The Panopticon affords views of both Bone and Flint counties and Easter Basin Airport serving San Fierro. We're sure some crime takes place here, only currently we don't know what. With that said though, this could mean a lot of things and isn't necessarily related to Leatherface at all. But besides these encounters, he has also been spotted elsewhere by players, such as in the Creepy House in Los Santos, Red County, and in Fisher's Lagoon near the Rusty Wheelchair which some believe could be related as a possible reference to the film. However, it's very unlikely that Leatherface or the Panopticon Killer exists in the game, as there is no solid proof of his existence. There are screenshots and videos, but most of them can be just tied back to mods. Jason Voorhees very similar to the Leatherface rumors, this was about another iconic slasher film character who was said to be spotted within the game, said to be wielding his machete and wearing his trademark hockey mask. And he is most associated with three locations where he's said to be found, those being Shady Cabin, Chiliad Cabin, and Fisher's Lagoon. There's really not much evidence to support the existence of Jason at all though, I mean, there is a hockey mask which can be purchased, as well as a redneck character that some think looks like Jason and could possibly be him, but that's really a stretch. So the Jason myth, yeah, not true. Chupacabra One of the most prevalent myths not only in the GTA games, but also in real life. These chupacabras, or goat suckers translated from Spanish to English, are these strange cryptid creatures with sharp fangs and spikes on their backs, and they've been described as looking like sort of large dogs except lacking hair. And the creatures were also reported to attack the player on sight. In real life, the creature is also said to have been spotted in and around California, where San Andreas is of course based on. However, in real life, the creature is also said to devour livestock and goats, hence the name, which don't appear at all in the game. And coupled with the fact that there is no solid evidence of its existence, it's most likely not real. Ghost of CJ's Mom So there are a bunch of ghosts that people have claimed to see in this game, and a lot of them are characters that are either talked about that are already dead, or ones that died during the course of the game. So yeah, I'll just focus on one here that doesn't really spoil the game. But it's also definitely the most notable one of them all, and that is the ghost of CJ's mom, Beverly Johnson, who was killed before the events of the game. And she is said to have been spotted walking around CJ's house in an apparition translucent form, with most players reporting that they saw her ghost at night, walking down the stairs and into the living room. Although some have also claimed that they've even been attacked by the ghost while others have said that the ghost is more likely to spawn if it's a Friday night, or even by setting the clock on your PC to Halloween before playing. Although none of this is probably true, as there is a texture which appears in the house after a grenade is thrown that could possibly be construed as a ghost, maybe. And there's also even an NPC that looks eerily similar to Beverly in her photo in the house, and yeah, it's definitely the same model. Maybe that NPC could have been confused for her, although she is typically just seen wandering around in Los Santos and it's definitely not an apparition. But yeah, most of this speculation was put to rest when Rockstar officially commented on the mystery, saying that it was untrue. Hello Dazos NPCs. Uh yeah, NPCs that, well, end themselves. That might sound kind of crazy, but this is in fact true. As has been noted numerous times by players of San Andreas, random pedestrians can be seen jumping off of buildings. 
And while this is probably merely a glitch or a fault in their AI, it is kind of disturbing and has led to a lot of speculation about these occurrences. And it can be seen happening at numerous locations throughout San Andreas, usually with them seen jumping off of roofs of high buildings such as Caligula's Casino and the Emerald Isle. But perhaps the most infamous example is the photographer, who can be found in Flint County near the intersection, who can typically be seen taking scenic photos along the coast, before eventually walking off the edge and falling to his death in the waters below. Also pretty interestingly, if CJ points a gun at the photographer, he holds his hands up in a surrender animation like most pedestrians do, but afterwards he proceeds to still walk off to his death. And if you attack the photographer, he will typically just follow you around taking pictures of CJ until you eventually escape or kill him. Despite the fact that all of this is true about the photographer, he simply most likely has just a pathing error. As some theorize in this area, there was once meant to be a bridge before it was later removed in development, which might have caused or contributed to his strange behavior. Clowns these are what they sound like, clowns that are said to be in San Andreas that can just be found walking the streets, which have been noted by players and can also be found in ice cream vans and are actually said to not attack the player and are essentially just normal pedestrian NPCs. And yeah, this is actually true, as they have been documented in the game numerous times. However, they are kind of creepy, but they only attack the player if you attack them first. But there is said to be one that actually will attack the player unprovoked, that being what is known as the Midnight Clown, who was described as a clown serial killer who roams the streets at night, more specifically around City Hall, and attacks citizens and the player alike using a pickaxe as a weapon. And at night, when near City Hall, it's said that you can hear the laughter of the clown, and there is also even a red texture that is thought to be a bloodstain of one of his victims, which can be found in the area. But sadly, this is not true. There is no Midnight Clown serial killer, as numerous myth hunters have tried to track him down and none have been successful in locating him. Although this area near City Hall at night can still be pretty creepy. Mothman Mothman is another real-life urban legend that made its way into San Andreas, with there being numerous accounts of this moth-like creature being spotted since the 1960s, usually in close proximity to tragedies and deaths. And in the game, it's said that the Mothman could be found with a similar looking design to how he's been described in those real-life cases, as a large human-like bird with wings and distinct red glowing eyes. And just like the legend, it's thought that Mothman would appear whenever there were a large number of pedestrian deaths, such as a plane crash. And over the years, there have been many screenshots and videos of the creature. But these have all very likely been doctored. Some have alleged though that Mothman could be related to these structures found at the Sherman Dam. But these statues are actually based off of real life statues found at Hoover Dam which was the basis of the Sherman Dam in San Andreas. However, some have gone even further with this, stating that if you zoom in on the statues, you can hear a plane crash, which some think could be related to Mothman. Some have also pointed out a certain rock texture, which they think might be related to Mothman, but I don't really see the resemblance, if I'm being honest. And lastly, some say he can be spotted in the story mission Stowaway, when CJ has to parachute after jumping out of a plane where some say a black flying creature can be seen. But really, there is no solid evidence that would point to Mothman's existence in San Andreas. Pigsy Probably the most iconic character from the Manhunt series and one of the main antagonists of Manhunt 1, Pigsy is a depraved serial killer who wields a chainsaw and wears a pig's head as a mask. And with Manhunt also being a game released by Rockstar only a year prior to San Andreas, it's not really that surprising that some thought he could have been in this game, as a hidden character or even an easter egg. Which he actually is, although not in the way you might think. Because he can be found as an action figure sold in Zero's shop in San Fierro. Although people also believed that the real Pigsy was in the game, and thus the myth was born 
with some images and videos popping up showcasing him in their games. Some have also even said to have found footprints left by Pigsy, and some textures were also even discovered which some think is of Pigsy. Although it's just very unlikely that he's in the game as an NPC or anything. But I do think it was cool of Rockstar to at least throw in this Pigsy action figure easter egg. The Spy This is a myth revolving around an NPC simply called The Spy, who is said to stalk CJ, typically in the woods of Bako Beyond, which is said to happen after the player receives a strange phone call after walking around in that area. And it's thought that after that call, The Spy will spawn in your game and stalk CJ from a distance hiding behind trees and bushes and such, taking pictures. With the main theory being that the spy is actually Mike Torino or someone related to him, as he is a government agent, most likely CIA, who works with CJ in numerous missions, and has stated outright that he is spying on you, the player. So it's not too hard to believe that this could be true. It sounds like a cool detail that Rockstar could have included, but it doesn't seem to be the case unfortunately, as there is no irrefutable proof of the spy's existence. UFOs Just like in real life again, these UFOs, or unidentified flying objects, are a very popular myth. Originating pretty much back to the first release of the game, and these are actually kind of proven in a way, because there are some blinking lights in the sky which can be seen when flying at a high altitude. And these lights actually leave behind a trail, so they are indeed flying, but they can never be caught up to as they are just too fast. Some think that these lights are just meant to be planes from a distance, but when you look closer by no clipping or by some other means, you can see that these strange lights are just that. Lights. Glowing light spheres, I guess. There's no real plane or vehicle of any kind, although these spheres can be found in the files, and are given the name UFO light. So you could say that this is proven. Not to mention that there is a ton of stuff that can be found in the game and even the story to support this. Such as a UFO map located inside the Lil Pro bin, which can also be found inside of Mike Torino's ranch. The Woods Creature Okay, so we got our first bonus entry here in San Andreas, and this myth is kind of interesting because it could concern many different sightings and myths in the woods of Shady Creeks and Baco Beyond, and started more as kind of a vague term that could refer to creatures like Bigfoot or Pigsy. However, since then, a specific unnamed creature spotted in Shady Creeks has now kind of taken on the identity of the woods creature. It's described as about the same height as the player, having also yellow skin and blood stains covering its body. Kiflom This strange myth is actually tied to the lore of the GTA games, in regards to the Epsilon Cult, which appears in many of the Grand Theft Auto games, including San Andreas. And the Epsilon program is basically a parody of Scientology, and with its very strange tenets and beliefs, you could just dive into that for a while. There's even a bunch of side missions related to joining the group in GTA 5, but what we're here to talk about is Kiflom, a deity that is worshipped by the group, and is thought by some to actually exist in San Andreas. And although his appearance wasn't mentioned in any official way, for some reason, it was thought that Kiflom was a tall blue chicken-like creature with wings that stood on four legs. And this interpretation was created into a mod which may be where this strange design came from in the first place. So no, Kiflom is not physically in San Andreas. Tree Man So this one's kind of weird. Basically, this myth stated that a certain tree located in Bako Beyond could sometimes be seen strangely moving around, which some chalked up to it being controlled by a supernatural entity, and some just simply believed that it was a glitch. It was first discovered in 2009 by Kevin Champagne One, who made a YouTube video showing the tree man, as he called it. But yeah, not too much really with this one, it's just kind of an interesting glitch. Mr. Trenchcoat Also sometimes referred to as simply the serial killer and also the undertaker, 
This is one of the strangest yet most interesting myths in San Andreas. As Mr. Trenchcoat is a real NPC pedestrian that can be seen walking around San Andreas, specifically most often in Tierra Robata and Bone County. And as his name implies, he is seen donning a black trench coat, black hat, and an American flag handkerchief. But the most interesting thing about this NPC is his dialogue, which is very strange to say the least, as he says a lot of conspiracy theory-like things, such as talking about implants, lizard people, and of course aliens, where he may be implying that he was actually abducted. Although he could just be crazy. But strangely enough, he's even associated with other myths, as he can sometimes spawn as the suicidal photographer, and is thought to also be related to the UFO and alien myths. But also even the chupacabra myth, even though it's a bit of a stretch. As he says sometimes when speaking to other pedestrians, quote, seen the shape of a dog once which I guess some people chalk up to him knowing about the chupacabra. And another thing, if you follow Mr. Trenchcoat for long enough, sometimes he will actually become hostile for no apparent reason, and will actually start attacking CJ. And instead of fleeing when gunshots are fired near him, he will instead just carry on as usual, sometimes even when a gun is pointed directly at him. There was also a theory that Mr. Trenchcoat was a serial killer, who would occasionally attack pedestrians and the player with a shotgun, or even stab pedestrians near Fort Carson. Although, these were all simply rumors and never proven, as most people think that most of these reports were either false or from people who had the riot sheet enabled, which actually makes pedestrians hostile. Players also think that they might have found his house, as there is a small house located near Tierra Robata Bait Shop, which is a place that he is frequently spotted at. Others think he lives in a different house located in Tierra Robata, and will attack the player sometimes at night if you get too close. Although all of these accusations of Mr. Trenchcoat being a serial killer have never been proven, and it's likely he is just a crazy conspiracy theorist, or someone who was just abducted by aliens. Demons Almost as soon as the game released, there were reports and rumors of demons existing in San Andreas, with the evidence of these being strange textures that could be found throughout the world that looked creepy or straight up demonic, such as this one located in a safe house in Blueberry, where also strangely a crime took place nearby, which some have attributed to the demon or some kind of sacrifice. Also, on top of a building near one of Woozy Moo's racing missions, which can only be reached using the jetpack, there can be found a very strange texture that some say is a demon. Although, on the outside of the building, the texture just looks like normal faces. Although, that first texture is pretty creepy actually, and it may just be a glitch, or maybe it's just a strange texture. Mermaids these half-human, half-fish creatures were rumored to appear in San Andreas, being found to swim in the waters off the coast near the beaches in Los Santos, particularly at the spot where the lowrider dance party takes place. Although this myth has been mostly overshadowed by the shark's myth, which got far more attention and intrigue from players, and there are only a few images of the mermaids being found in San Andreas, and they are most likely fake, as there has been no solid proof of their existence. Headless Man Starting sometime most likely in 2011, rumors and reports began to appear of a very strange NPC, a man wearing swim trunks and missing his head, that was said to appear usually in foggy weather near Blueberry. Somehow along the way, as myths and legends tend to do, a story became ascribed to the Headless Man, that being that he was a college student going for a swim in a river near the Blueberry area, and was for some reason attacked and decapitated by an NPC called the Junkyard Killer, who is a myth in his own right but is definitely not real. As for the Headless Man, it is most likely just a hoax although a mod has even been created of the myth. Though some still also theorize that the Headless Man could have also been a glitch. Hellhounds These rumored creatures are described as large beast-like dogs with black fur and red eyes, 
kind of similar to the Chupacabra myth. Reportedly, the Hellhounds when encountered by players could not be killed, as they were extremely fast and could simply close in on the player before quickly killing them, with some also claiming that the Hellhounds would stalk them from behind, making growling noises and keeping their distance before attacking the player. Very strangely, the most common place that they were spotted by players was actually Ryder's backyard. Yeah. But apparently they've also been sighted at other places around the map, such as the Mount Chiliad Caves. But this myth is most likely false, as there is really no evidence to back up any of these claims. Casino Destroyer This myth refers to a security guard working at the casino floor in Las Venturas, and was said to have been plotting to actually blow up the casino, with some thinking that he could have possibly been some sort of terrorist as the security guard in question was rumored to be seen carrying around something that looked like dynamite. However, this is most likely not the case, as the only evidence of this is a very low quality video, and you can't really see much at all. So yeah, interesting concept, but not true as far as we know, unfortunately. Sharks now, this myth has been the subject of intrigue and investigation almost since the launch of the game, as many players searched for the existence of sharks in San Andreas, with many people claiming to have seen them or even been killed by them in-game, although most players would chalk these deaths up to CJ just simply drowning. But the stories kept coming in, and over time they got more and more wild, with details changing, locations, circumstances, you name it. So it's no wonder that after all of this, not to mention numerous mods which muddied the waters even further, that a lot of San Andreas players did not believe that sharks existed. But a shark model was actually found in the game's files. Although some were still skeptical and believed it could have just been a robotic shark model that belonged to Steve Scott from Vice City. But at least there was the model, right? Good enough. Well, not quite. Shockingly, during a hunt searching for the shark, on September 14th, 2014, a YouTuber and myth hunter, Davy Dustin, actually found a shark that spawned at the San Andreas fault line, the actual real deal. And another YouTuber, Dark Myth Hunter, also found a shark after searching for 16 days in a completely unmodded game, proving once and for all that while it's an extremely rare spawn, there are sharks in San Andreas although they do not actually attack the player, and they simply just have the same coding as dolphins, but hey, this is still an amazing find. Cave Demon This is a pretty strange one, and unrelated to the earlier demon myth. This cave demon, as it's known, is a creature that was reportedly seen by players in the Mount Chiliad Natural Arc sometimes in the woods and sometimes in a cave, and was said to appear mostly around midnight. The demon itself had a strange design, according to players that claimed to encounter it, saying it was green with horns, wearing a bracelet and only wearing fur underwear. Yeah, it's honestly just kind of more funny than anything else. And besides that, apparently when he would attack you, a random fire would start, and then like random explosions would go off and he'd start laughing as he attacked you. Pretty wild that someone even came up with this, but yeah, it even has a mod. So no, this one is not real unfortunately, I really wish it was. Bears Not unlike the sharks myth, it was believed that bears were originally in San Andreas in the beta version, and that they were just never finalized, because of it being hard to make realistic animations for the animal. Although some people even still thought that the bears were in the final version of San Andreas, and were just rare, with some reports coming out about them being found in the woods and even attacking them. However, these claims are all false, as there is no evidence to support that bears are or were ever in GTA San Andreas, not even in the beta or in the files, unlike the sharks. Kane Killer this myth is of a particular pedestrian that is said to be found in the ghost town of Aldea Malvada during foggy weather, and this pedestrian is even said to attack the player on sight, with his nickname coming from his weapon of choice, a cane which he can be seen carrying around. And although there are screenshots and video of the cane killer, there's not really much else to go on, and it's thought that it's either a hoax or maybe some kind of glitch. 
flying fish. This is something strange that would actually occur in San Andreas where fish could sometimes be seen flying. And this is actually true, although it is most likely because of a glitch as it usually occurs when the fish are attacked with an explosive weapon, like a grenade or RPG, which can only be done in the PS2 version of the game, which will then make the fish start well, flying. As for the reason, well, the theory is that maybe the fish were originally going to be programmed to float to the surface after dying, like they might in real life, to add a little bit more realism, but it was just never fully implemented. Although this bit of code might have just been left in the PS2 version, which could be why it's only possible in that specific version, but that's simply a theory. We don't really know for sure what's going on here. Grave Robber this is a pretty self-explanatory one, but still it's interesting nonetheless. Located at the various cemeteries in the game, it's been reported that there can be sometimes found an NPC who robs from graves. With evidence for this being empty grave sites, as well as open coffins that can be found at the cemeteries. Also at the Palomino Creek Cemetery, there can be found a shovel pickup. And NPCs occasionally will walk through these areas, so it could potentially be any one of them but this is most likely just a simple easter egg. The Psycho This is another pedestrian myth, of an NPC that is simply dubbed the Psycho, who is unused in the game, but was actually found in the files under the name Psycho.txd. So this is actually true. His model can be seen wearing a black beanie, green jacket, and military pants and boots. And despite not actually appearing in the base game, there was plenty of rumors and speculation that was spread around thanks to the ominous name he was given in the files, as we don't exactly know what he was actually planned to do in the game. Theories range from him being an aggressive criminal that would just attack the player, to him being in the military, possibly working at Area 69, or that he was even a serial killer. Digging a little deeper into this cut character, it was found in the pedestrian stats file that the Psycho had zero lawlessness and fear, and 100 temper, meaning that he would be extremely aggressive, even more so than the average criminal. Like many other myths and legends, some have claimed to have encountered the Psycho and even been attacked by him, although these are all false. However, it is true that he was an unused pedestrian, and a pretty interesting one at that. Mount Chiliad Angel A pretty strange occurrence and myth that is found on Mount Chiliad is what's known as the Mount Chiliad Angel, which was spotted by players at the summit, and has been described as some sort of mist or cloud that is shaped like an angel. Some thought that this was merely a glitch and nothing more, some think it is just a cloud, and some just believed that it was a hoax as mods had been created for this myth. Some believe though that this is some sort of easter egg by Rockstar, and could be related to the Rock Angel, which is a similar phenomenon that can be found on a rock in Bako Beyond, which has a texture that some think looks like an angel. However, we do know that this texture that appears is real, but it's more than likely simply a glitched cloud rather than something to do with angels or whatnot, but I'll let you be the judge of that. Loch Ness Monster also called Nessie or the Fisher's Lagoon creature, this is a cryptid and myth said to be located in or around Fisher's Lagoon, which is a hot spot of a lot of myths and conspiracy theories in this game. And very interestingly, just like the real myth of the Loch Ness Monster, it started with rumors and sightings of the head of a creature found in the waters of Fisher's Lagoon, although some also claimed it could be found in other areas in San Andreas such as Ghost Lake or San Fierro Bay. And according to the legend, if you left your game on all night in real lifetime, with CJ sitting in a boat, then by morning CJ would be at the hospital, the implication being that you were killed by the Loch Ness Monster. This is another really common trope around these myths. And it's not really proof of anything, I mean you can really die in a bunch of ways in that much time. Now, various images and videos have come out allegedly showing the creature, although most are faked, and like Bigfoot, the claims were put to rest when Rockstar eventually stated that the creature was not real. Although just like Bigfoot, they did eventually implement the Loch Ness Monster, or a creature just like it, into GTA V, 
specifically in GTA Online, where the creature can be spotted in the water during the Cayo Perico heist. Ghost Cars Another one of the most popular myths in San Andreas. Ghost Cars is also very fascinating because I think this is the one that made a lot of the community start to take some of these myths more seriously. Because, well, this is one of the first proven myths. Now, for a while, these ghost cars, which would spawn in the woods of Baco Beyond, really freaked out some players, as there was no explanation for cars driving without, well, a driver. There were no people that could be seen in these cars, and yet they were driving themselves, with some people saying that they even tried to run them over. But there is a logical explanation for all of this. See, these ghost cars were all typically spawning in the same area in the woods and they were all Glendales, a certain type of car. The reason that they looked like they were driving themselves is because of them just simply spawning on a hill, which causes them to roll down, giving the illusion that they are driving themselves. As for them running over players, well, that's just a coincidence. They don't have any pathing of any kind and are not controlled by any AI or NPC. Still, it's a very interesting myth. Aliens now along with Bigfoot and a couple other ones, this is one of the most popular theories and myths, and for good reason. There is just so much related to aliens that can be found in all of these games. From simple small easter eggs to major story beats and missions, and of course UFOs which we talked about earlier. It's no wonder people believe that there are aliens in GTA San Andreas. Most often, they were reported to be seen by players in the desert areas, especially in or around Area 69 for pretty obvious reasons, it being a direct parody of Area 51. Now, players who claimed to see the aliens claimed that they were surprisingly not aggressive and wouldn't attack the player, and were the typical depiction of aliens, with them being slender and grey with big eyes. Now, of course, for the most part, aliens are played for more of a joke than anything else in the GTA games. And they are referenced quite a bit, such as with Mr. Trenchcoat. And even in a story mission called Black Project, where CJ has to get into Area 69, you can hear someone on the intercom say, quote, All personnel working on alien bodies evacuate immediately. So yeah, you could say that aliens exist in the 3D GTA universe. Well, even the HD one for that matter. Although, those physical encounters with aliens are not real, and are either fabrications or just the work of mods. But there is still a decent amount to look into with all of these alien easter eggs, and not just in this game, but the entire GTA series. Eddie Lowe if you're familiar at all with this game, you'll probably know that Eddie Lowe is a real character, who is even featured in some side missions. And Eddie is actually a serial killer, preying on victims in Liberty City. And he is even based, at least partially, on a real New York serial killer that operated in the 70s, known as Son of Sam. And you can hear about this at the time unnamed serial killer in Liberty City on the news and the radio, until eventually you do meet him as Nico and he has some pretty disturbing dialogue. Wait here for me, friend. Special friend. I'm just dropping the kids off. But upon your second meeting with Eddie, he actually attacks you, forcing Nico to actually kill him, which is later reported in the news. Not so much a myth here, but this is just 100% true. I just thought it was really creepy and interesting to mention because we really don't know the true extent of his crimes, and who knows, maybe there's some other secret related to him and his crimes just waiting to be found. Doc's Ghost This myth concerns an entity that is supposedly found near the docks in Northwood Heights, and is described as a kind of ghost-like figure, hence the name. And there have been numerous alleged sightings of certain entities or ghosts here, most of which have varying descriptions, from it being a woman to it being a construction worker or even a dock worker. A YouTube user named David Edge did an investigation into this mystery, but nothing really came about from it. But uh, you do get to see this. Wow, uh, can you tell it's from 2008? 
This is the kind of stuff we're really here for. Rat Man. Okay, so this is definitely the myth for this game. The Bigfoot of GTA 4, if you will. Being easily the most infamous and investigated myth in the whole game. And Ratman, as he's been called, is an alleged NPC that can supposedly be found in the underground subway station, although there are varying accounts as far as sightings of the creature are concerned. But what's agreed upon is that it is said to resemble a human with rat-like features that will attack the player or nearby NPCs before running away into the darkness. Sometimes he's even been said to say, I am Ratman when attacking the player. Now, all of this mainly started because of alleged sightings, including this iconic image, which I believe started this whole trend. Although sadly, much like Bigfoot, this is most likely not real, but it's still a very fun myth. Haunted Baby Stroller This is another really iconic myth from GTA 4, concerning this specific baby stroller found underneath one of the highways, and at first glance it doesn't seem like anything special. In fact, there are other baby strollers in the game, but this one in particular is the one that many players believe is haunted, which is said to manifest in many ways, such as the stroller moving on its own, or even hearing strange ambient noises, or even the voice of a little girl. Kind of creepy, right? Well, these strollers being in the game at all is kind of just creepy on its own, to be honest, considering there are no kids to be found in the game, so they're always just empty and abandoned which probably led to a lot of people believing this one was haunted. Although it is possible that a glitch could occur which causes the stroller to roll down the slope on its own, which could be one of the reasons that this stroller has been reported as moving. But there really is no explanation for the other stuff that was reported. Haunted Casino The Alderney Casino located in West Dyke is an abandoned casino that is supposedly haunted. The player can explore the building and see it in a very dilapidated state. Because of it being a pretty creepy and rundown location, a few players have noticed or reported some odd encounters, such as seeing translucent ghostly figures, hearing strange growling noises, or even hearing loud banging noises nearby. But a lot of this could come down to the homeless people that can sometimes spawn there. Alligators Okay, so kind of like what we had in San Andreas with the sharks, we have alligators in GTA 4. And this myth is mostly a thing because of a real-life urban legend of alligators living in the sewers of New York City. Which is something that is actually backed up by a Liberty Tree article called Urban Myths Gone Wild, which I guess fueled the flames of this particular myth, even calling them giant alligators. Some have claimed to have seen these alligators in the sewers, and some have even claimed to have been attacked and killed by them although there is really no proof of their existence in the game at all, and they are very unlikely to exist unlike sharks in San Andreas. But to be fair, I probably would have said that about them too before they ended up being found, so who knows. And you know what, since I already brought it up, sharks. So just like San Andreas, sharks have also been reported in GTA 4, and likewise are said to be found in the various bodies of water in the game. And this was a kind of lesser talked about myth for the most part, until the San Andreas Discovery, which made people look for sharks in just about every GTA game, including this one. But yeah, sharks are not likely in the game. I mean, you can't even swim underwater like you can in San Andreas, so yeah, it's really unlikely. Leprechauns. Alright, we're getting into the good stuff now. It's kind of an obscure one, but it's still kind of funny. Anyway, not too much to say other than the fact that some players seem to think that there are leprechauns in the game, or have even claimed to have encountered them. And as far as quote unquote proof goes, uh, there's a bar in the game called Leprechaun's Winkle Picker, which I guess is enough proof to say that these little dudes in green hats are running around, so we'll take it. Duncan the Morbid Okay, so this one is a real character, although he is only ever featured on one of the game's websites and cannot actually be found in-game as far as we know. Although some players have reported that he can be found in cemeteries during the dark hours of the night. But what even is he? Well, according to MyRoomOnline.net, an in-game website, he is supposedly a vampire living in Liberty City, along with his vampire girlfriend who goes by the name Raven Vamp 11 and it's thought that she can also be found at these cemeteries, 
with some reporting that this is actually her, although there is no solid proof of Duncan being in the game at all. Glowing Man Supposedly there is an NPC that can be found in the subway stations that appears to be a glowing NPC, which has been said to appear in similar situations and areas to that of Ratman. Although this glowing man, as he's been called, has been said to be found more often in multiplayer sessions. But there is no definitive proof, and it is most likely a hoax. However, some do believe that it could just be a rare glitch phenomenon. Colony Island Killer This myth concerns another alleged serial killer. One that can supposedly be found on Colony Island, near or around the cemetery, and has also been reported to be found behind the lighthouse. It's an interesting urban legend because it isn't associated with any specific character or model in the game, and is actually said to spawn as a random pedestrian NPC. The evidence for this character existing, besides the reports of the encounters with the killer, are that there is a strangely placed baseball bat behind the lighthouse, which some theorize could be the murder weapon of the serial killer, but there's also some strange and notable NPC behavior in that area as it has been reported that they will sometimes flee from something unknown, which some think could possibly be the killer. Some also believe that the Colony Island Cemetery is haunted by ghosts, and that they could be fleeing from that, but that's a whole other can of worms. All in all, a pretty unlikely myth. Killer Bees Alright, this is another pretty funny one. And yes, it is just what it sounds like. This is another myth spawned from one of the in-game newspapers, the Liberty Tree. Although interestingly, it wasn't originally stated in this game, but in the GTA 3 version of the newspaper, where the bees were first mentioned. And apparently there have been reports of those same bees actually appearing in this game in the various parks around the city. But yeah, this isn't real, as much as I would like it to be. Black Triangles so this is another myth related to the UFO phenomena, which is basically a whole umbrella of myths and urban legends at this point, but more specifically, these black triangles as they're called, are said to be UFOs that can be seen in the far corners of the map when the player travels far out to the ocean, typically at nighttime in the northern part of the map. Although these triangular shaped UFOs are most likely just planes or helicopters spawning in the far reaches of the sandbox, or possibly some sort of glitch, creating these polygon-like shapes in the sky. So yeah, most likely not real. Although Bully also has a similar phenomenon with triangle UFOs, so who knows. Invader Alright, this one is not very creepy, but just kind of interesting. It refers to a real-life French graffiti artist that is said to be found in GTA 4, which surprisingly isn't as far-fetched as it sounds, I guess. So just to give a basic rundown, Invader is a graffiti artist known for his sometimes gaming-related artwork, but also for the fact that for a long time, including when GTA 4 was released, no one knew his true identity. Until in 2020, his identity was actually revealed. But how is this even related to GTA? Well, apparently there are a few pieces of graffiti art that are said to resemble Invader's work, such as one of Pac-Man, which is one of his pieces that is most well known. Although he has never been spotted in-game, this could be a reference to him and his works. Also in GTA 5, there is a hooded NPC also wearing a monkey mask that can be seen doing graffiti in-game. Growling Noises These are, well, exactly what it sounds like. Growling noises that are said to be heard at night in certain areas of the map. Which is not only creepy, but strange considering there are no animals in the game aside from the birds. Or flying rats as they're known as in this game. No dogs or anything like that. But some believe that these growls are actually coming from a ghostly entity. Most commonly encountered on the beach or near the Alderney Casino at night. Some have even theorized that these noises could possibly be coming from the hobos in that area or even be from possible thunderstorms. But some people also do think that it could possibly be the seagulls, as some even think that they sound like a witch laughing. Jack the Ripper Okay, everyone knows who Jack the Ripper is, I don't need to go into the backstory, right? I'll just say it's another serial killer that can supposedly be found in GTA 4, 
typically said to be seen at night attacking prostitutes, like his real-life counterpart. But there is no proof of his existence at all, despite investigations into it. The only thing that is even remotely related is a mission titled Portrait of a Killer, which is a reference to a book of the same name written about Jack the Ripper. I almost just said Jeff the Killer, what's wrong with me? Anyways, moving on. Karate Master. So this is an NPC pedestrian that is said to be found doing some sort of karate moves or karate routine, and while it's not all that strange, at least compared to some of the other stuff on this list, it is actually real. And you can find this rare NPC on top of a large rock, practicing his moves, and you can kill him too, which is kind of funny. Interesting easter egg, I guess, though. Rotterdam Monster. So this myth is similar to the Loch Ness Monster, and basically any sea creature cryptid from the GTA games. I mean, there are plenty of those. This one in particular is said to be found on the coast of Alderney, with many videos and investigations on this supposed creature, usually reported as a strange shape or shadow moving along the water. Although this could be many things. Of course, these reports could simply be hoaxes, the easiest answer, or some sort of texture glitch or weather phenomenon that is causing the strange shadows in the water. Either way, this one is not real, unfortunately. Michael Myers Hey, what do you know, another serial killer. This time, the very well-known character from the Halloween franchise. This myth most likely got started here because of a similar myth in GTA San Andreas, although both were fabricated. And I guess some of the San Andreas mods just fueled the flames with this particular myth, as well as many others. And there is a sort of easter egg alluding to Michael, in that on the radio there can be heard a report of a 6 year old boy who killed his entire family. Close enough to the story of Michael Myers, although in the movie he only killed his sister. Middle Park Whale this may sound weird, but this is definitely one of the myths that I heard about as a kid. Funnily enough, this one is also supported by an article that says, quote, In related news, police are investigating claims that a whale was seen swimming in Middle Park. However, it is simply most likely a parody of GTA myths, similar to the one on the alligators. Even so, there have been many reports and investigations into the Middle Park area, which, on an unrelated note, has an interestingly shaped lake. Kind of looks like an alien, right? Anyways, it's obviously not real, but it's one of the funner ones out there. For some reason, when I was a kid, I really wanted this one to be real. I guess I just thought it would be cool to see a giant whale in this tiny little lake in the middle of Liberty City. The Bigfoot of Bohan Ah uh, yes, Bigfoot Returns. It truly wouldn't be a Rockstar title if there wasn't some sort of Bigfoot urban legend. This time he is said to be located at Wellham Park in Bohan, Liberty City. And surprisingly, there is a little more evidence to back this up than in San Andreas. Although they are most likely just easter eggs alluding to the legend. Such as on the map, there is a lake in the shape of a foot. Although, people have also reported hearing these strange growling noises we talked about earlier in this park, which they attribute to Bigfoot. Some players have even claimed to have seen him, but uh, yeah, it would be kind of weird for Bigfoot to be in this tiny ass park in the middle of the city. I mean, the San Andreas one sounds much more plausible in that regard. At least he could be found in a forest, allegedly. So yeah, it's not real, but Bigfoot will always remain one of the best myths in all of the GTA games. Alex Mercer. This one is kind of strange, but yes, Alex Mercer, the protagonist of the game series Prototype, is said to have been found in GTA 4 by players. Now, I guess this was thought to be true because Prototype takes place in Manhattan, and Algonquin in GTA 4 is actually based off of Manhattan, New York, and the game's released around the same time. So, some Myth Hunters thought there might be an Easter egg or something in the game. And he was even modded in, and some hoax videos were created. I mean, the first prototype game wasn't released until 2009, while GTA 4 came out in 2008, so there's that. Peeping Tom According to reports, if the player walks around a certain neighborhood in Beachgate, there can be seen a man staring at Nico through the window of his house. However, this could just be a strangely spawned or even glitched NPC. Still, it is a kind of weird and creepy phenomenon. 
ninjas. Yes, you heard that right. Uh, yeah, so what can be said about this? Well, apparently there have been <laughs> reports of ninja sightings. Yeah, some players have claimed to encounter these NPCs in Actor Industrial Park, and it's said that they wear the classic ninja outfits and are extremely fast, much faster than the player, and simply flee if spotted and do not engage in combat. Now, this may just sound kind of ridiculous and just random to be an urban legend in this game compared to the other stuff, I guess, but apparently this was also a pretty well-known myth in GTA Vice City, so I guess we'll talk about that whenever I cover that game. Spy Helicopters So this doesn't sound that far-fetched, at least compared to some of the other ones we've talked about, and well yeah, this is true in a sense. We all know that aircraft in this game is very common, you can see it in the sky pretty much anywhere on the map at any given time, both planes and helicopters, but there have been reports over the years of a strange phenomenon in relation to the helicopters specifically, as some will actually just stay in one place, seemingly spying on the player, and sometimes they were even reported to flee if the player got too close. And there are a couple of hotspots that this was most commonly reported to happen in, that being these spots on the map, but mostly in the northern part of Algonquin. Basically, what's most likely going on here is that when players see helicopters that are very far away, they aren't actually using their AI mapping and moving around as normal, and it most likely doesn't trigger unless you reach a certain render distance, which will then allow the helicopter to move, which makes it look like it's flying away from you as it resumes its standard pathing. Although sometimes these helicopters have stopped even right next to the player, which could possibly be some sort of bug. Museum Ghost This refers to the Libertonian Museum, which is a very important location in the GTA 4 story, but it's also said to be haunted by one or even more ghosts, as players have been said to see some strange happenings in there, such as objects randomly falling over or moving on their own although there is no solid evidence of this occurring. Moto Man This one is real, but it's more of a glitched NPC than anything else, although it is kind of strange. It's similar to another multiplayer NPC that we'll get into a little later, but these Moto Men, as they're called, are really just Jamaican gang members that spawn outside of their typical gang turf and walk around wearing motorcycle helmets, despite not riding bikes, and are known to be quite aggressive and hostile towards the player for some reason. And they tend to spawn near Chinatown and the airport. Just kind of a weird and interesting bug. Devil's Swing Now I'm sure a lot of you will remember this one if you've played the game at all. Not so much a myth, but more so a glitch. I mean, a lot of these are glitches, but anyway. Definitely my favorite thing on this list. Super nostalgic. So if you don't already know, the Devil Swing, as I guess it's called, is a particular swing set found in a playground in Broker, which is notable for, well, let me just show you. Yeah, so this thing is super fun to mess around with, especially online with friends. And obviously it's just a crazy glitch, but you know, as most things go in these Rockstar games, there's always some sort of urban legend or backstory behind it. I guess it's somehow related to the devil or some sort of supernatural entity or something? I don't know, it's just a glitch, and one of the funnest in the game. If you ever go back and play this game, Go to this swing set and just fling yourself across the map. It's a great way to escape the cops. Invincible Criminals Okay, so this one isn't too special or anything. It's another one of those myths addressed in the Liberty Tree article. Now, this could be just another one of those parody, like, made-up myths, or it could possibly be an easter egg or reference to the protagonists of GTA 4, Nico, Luis, and Johnny, as they can't actually die. I mean, it looks like you die when it says wasted, but really you are just teleported to the hospital. Some people also think it could refer to the nightclub bouncers in the Ballad of Gay Tony, as they actually can't be killed as well. Toxic Creature Why am I poisoned? Why am I toxic? What? This is supposedly a creature that has been spotted at the Actor Industrial Park, 
and is an entity that is said to be a radioactive being that would attack the player on sight. Although there is really no proof of this existing, and yeah, it's not real. Kind of anticlimactic, but this area with these abandoned factories in particular is pretty creepy. Weird multiplayer NPC. This is honestly a really strange and interesting one. Basically in the airport when playing in online free mode, sometimes a certain pedestrian NPC can be encountered, which actually has the model of little Jacob from the main story. It's strange, because if you attack this NPC, it actually can't die from bullets, or really any kind of damage at all, and will actually then turn hostile and kill the player. Most people believe it's either a glitch or the work of modders, as it's only possible online, and I couldn't even find footage or a picture of this NPC at all. Zombies Now, surprisingly, there are actually zombies in GTA 4, which I had no idea about. Although not in the traditional sense, I guess. It's like a skin in multiplayer that can make some players appear as zombies in-game, and even make zombie-like noises. And even some pedestrian NPCs can spawn with a zombie skin. Although there have been some really cool mods made of actual zombie invasions, which are really cool. Some of the most fun you can have in single player on this game for sure. Mount Gordo Ghost At the peak of Mount Gordo, there is a ghost that can be seen by the player between 11 and 1 am. And this is actually true, and a strange and creepy easter egg put in by Rockstar, most likely as a nod to all of the ghost myths from previous games. This translucent ghost is actually a woman named Jolene Cranley Evans as she is described in an in-game newspaper article as the wife of a famous stuntman named Jock Cranley, who actually murdered Jolene by pushing her off of the mountain, which is why she still haunts the location to this day. Atlantis This is a myth dating back to before the game's release, as some people noticed in one of the gameplay screenshots, there was a submarine as well as some sort of destroyed building underwater which led some people to think that this could possibly be from a ruined underwater city, such as Atlantis. However, this myth was quickly debunked when the game launched, as players found out that this building was not even a building at all, but rather a part of a freighter. Lizard Man a kind of obscure one here, the Lizard Man is an entity that is mentioned by the character Ron, who you might remember from Trevor's missions, who on a talk show references this creature, which is another real life urban legend from the United States, usually said to be found in South Carolina. And there is also a similar San Andreas myth, so it could be a reference to that, but besides this brief mention, there is no proof of the Lizard Man's existence. Ghost Truck. Another one that's more of a glitch than an easter egg or even a myth really. I'm pretty sure this only happens mostly on the old versions of the game on the 360 and PS3, where there can be seen armored trucks and I guess other cars driving with seemingly no driver. But yeah, just a glitch, not too much else to say about this one. Strange Mechanic. So the mechanic is an NPC and character who would appear in GTA Online and would deliver your cars to you at any location if you called him. However, this NPC was known to behave rather strangely, so much so that he was actually removed from GTA Online entirely. Because for some reason, the mechanic was sometimes aggressive and hostile towards the player, even going as far as to attack them on occasion. When delivering the player's vehicle, he would also crash it and damage it before handing it over, and would sometimes even just keep driving past the player entirely, and if you would try to take it back from him, he would become hostile, and you could actually kill him. You could still call him right after, but it was still kind of strange. It's unknown if the way this AI was programmed was a glitch, or if they meant for him to act this way, but he was most likely just very buggy. Because in the Valentine's Day Massacre update, he was removed from the game, 
You can still call him to drop off your cars, but now they just spawn near the player without this NPC involved. Ratman. And he's back, the infamous Ratman. However, this myth is a lot less prevalent than it was in GTA 4. Still, he has been said to be spotted a few times in the maintenance tunnels and under various freeways around Los Santos. There's not much in the way of proof of this creature, however, in the tunnels there are some strange sounds that can be heard occasionally, such as laughing, footsteps, and breathing, which some attribute to Ratman. Phantoms now this one strangely is actually true. For some reason in the game there can be found these so-called phantoms, which are kind of just small whirling patches of smoke or mist that can be found at various areas around the map, and it's unclear what these really are, although it's believed that they could be graphical bugs, originating from vehicles such as cars or planes in the area, but this smoke looking texture is said to be quite different from the other smoke textures that appear in the game. Which is strange, and if it is some sort of glitch, it has never been patched out of the game. Kraken This is another really iconic real life myth of a giant octopus that is also said to be located in the waters surrounding Los Santos, usually said to be found in the deepest waters where there have been plenty of claims in regards to this monster. However, there really isn't any solid proof of its existence. There have been myth hunters who scoured the ocean, even using cheats to go as far deep as you can in the water before being teleported to the surface, but still, nothing has really come of it. Only hoaxes and rumors. Possessed Dock Tug this is a pretty strange myth involving a certain dock worker at the Los Santos airport, who appears to be possessed. As can be seen in a video from 2015, where a worker takes a dock tug and seemingly leaves the airport area. Even though this is a very strange occurrence for this type of NPC. And in the video we can see the dock tug driving erratically with the worker even crashing the vehicle and attacking the player. Although this is pretty strange, this is most likely just some sort of glitched AI. Oh, shit. Goatman Yet another strange cryptid inspired by a real life urban legend, this creature, said to be a goat-human hybrid, is a pretty popular myth not only in this game, but also in the United States, particularly in Kentucky, Maryland, and Texas. And surprisingly, there are quite a few hints to the existence of the cryptid in the game. For one, he is said to be found around or under bridges, which is also where he's typically said to be spotted in real life. And there are many alleged sightings of the creature in the game. However, these are most likely hoaxes, but that's not all there is to this myth, as throughout the map there are many references to strange, seemingly demonic goat heads, possibly related to the altruist cult. Some also claim they experience something like panic in the woods when venturing out into the wilderness, which is basically an eerie feeling of panic when you've been separated from civilization which can lead to deafening buzzing sounds due to the overwhelming paranoia and fear. This is a whole different myth, but some claim this could be related to the Goatman, as this creature is said to cause similar effects. Or it could simply be some sort of bug, or they could both just be rumors and urban legends. Still a pretty fun myth. North Yankton Creature now, some of you might know about this already, but this one is 100% real, at least in the form of an easter egg. Because in the prologue mission of the game, when you are fleeing from the police, if you pull over to a certain spot on the side of the road, and walk over to this particular piece of ice, you will see a strange alien creature frozen inside. You also do see these aliens at other parts of the game, such as in costumes on the Hollywood set, and also during hallucination segments with Michael. 
And even when you return to North Yankton many years later in the mission Bury the Hatchet, the alien can still be found frozen in the lake. Now, some have claimed to have encountered more of these creatures in North Yankton, roaming around in the foggy areas of the map, as this section of the game is inaccessible for most of it, but sadly there aren't any more aliens walking around, at least as far as we know. Slenderman Oh boy, yep. Our boy Slenderman. I mean, you can't really blame people for thinking or wanting him to be in this game, because during that time when this game was being made, all the way up until its eventual release in 2013, I can remember Slenderman being a huge deal. One of the biggest mythological and creepypasta creatures of that era. And so, some have claimed to have encountered him stalking them, or even seen him in the forested areas of the map. However, these claims are false, although there are some pretty good hoaxes and mods that have been made of the character. Strange Howling This one is pretty self-explanatory, and basically a timeless myth found in just about every Rockstar game, although sometimes these turn out to be true, but with this one I'm not so sure. As on Mount Chiliad and around Polito Forest and Blaine County, there can be sometimes heard a strange howling sound, with no identifiable source for the noises. Although apparently despite not having wolves in the base game, there are sound files for them in the game, so that's what this could be. CJ's Ghost Okay, now this is just weird, and you're probably thinking, well, this is obviously not real, but hold on, hear me out. Now, there are a ton of easter eggs to CJ and San Andreas as a whole, which makes sense. I mean, you can literally go to Grove Street. And in one of the missions, called Hood Safari, with Franklin, Trevor, and Lamar, you do just that. And on the way, three particular individuals can be found riding bikes. Yeah, it looks like CJ, Smoke, and Ryder. Not really ghosts, I guess, it's just an easter egg, but it's still really cool. Hellhounds This is a myth that's found in almost every 3D GTA game, so it's no surprise it's here too. Especially since there are dogs in this game, and some believe that these aggressive, beast-like dogs are actually in this game, known as Hellhounds, who are aggressive and hostile towards the player. Said to be found mostly on or around Mount Chiliad. Although, these are most likely just regular dogs or other animals, as a lot of them are hostile towards the player already. The Infinity Killer this refers to a very strange and cryptic character in GTA V, a serial killer called the Infinity Killer, who murdered 8 people prior to when the game takes place, which are known as the Infinity Murders, which were carried out in 1999 by a man called Merle Abrams, due to his strange obsession with Infinity and the number 8 which is how he got his nickname. And throughout the game, you can find many clues as to what happened, as well as even the bodies of his victims. And there is even a strange rhyme which can be found on a rock nearby the killer's house, which was written by him. And there is a lot more to this, including other clues like fire pits, bodies, footprints, and newspaper clippings, one of which shows he died in prison in 2004. And yeah, this whole thing is real and a really interesting and creepy mystery created by Rockstar. Charles Manson This one is pretty creepy, and is true. While Charles Manson might not physically appear in the game, there is a pretty disturbing easter egg that is definitely in reference to real life murders that were committed by his cult. Because in the Vinewood Hills there can be found a house that sometimes will have a party going on at it and a strange piece of graffiti pointing to the house with the numbers 1807, which could be another reference to Manson. But the weirdest part is that if you go over to this house and bump into the people at the party, they just fall over and die. Not like fall over and get back up, but actually just collapse dead. Really a weird easter egg. Mothman 
Ah, uh, Mothman. He's back once again. One of the most famous myths in not just real life, but San Andreas as well. So it's not too surprising that this legend carried over to this game. Some claim to have seen it on top of bridges or in cemeteries, but there is no proof of his existence in the actual game, sadly. Although a mod was created of the legend, where he can be found at the Hill Valley Church. Loch Ness Monster I can't believe I forgot to include this in the original GTA 5 video. I even put it in the thumbnail. Anyways, this is a huge GTA myth in quite a few of the games, but it is most prominently featured here in GTA 5. Of course, when the game first launched, people immediately began searching for this creature in the oceans using the submarine, like they did with a lot of the other underwater myths. Although unfortunately, despite some other interesting underwater discoveries, no Loch Ness Monster was found. That was until the Cayo Perico heist update, when the creature was officially discovered off the coast of the island. Really cool myth nod by Rockstar. FIB Agents at Satellite Dishes This refers to a kind of strange and interesting group of NPCs that can be found in the Grand Sonora Desert at the Satellite Dishes from 10am to 5pm every in-game day. You have dark vans with armed men dressed in suits and scientists gathered around, leading many to assume that these men were not only involved in some sort of suspicious activity out in the desert, but that they were also FIB agents, the GTA universe equivalent of the FBI. These agents will also attack the player on site if they remain in the area for too long, and there is also even another occurrence of this at Chiansky Passage. Although it's unclear what these agents or scientists are meant to even be doing here. Atmospheric Anomalies This myth, also known as sky beasts, are strange creatures that supposedly can be seen flying in the sky that are kind of hard to describe, and are sometimes reported as different things, hence the name Atmospheric Anomalies, as some reports seeing jellyfish-like creatures while others see things that just look like glitched textures, and others report just seeing strangely shaped and moving clouds. And some also believe that they could be related to UFOs. Don't worry, we'll get to that in its own entry, because there's a lot to unpack there. But in regards to these anomalies, or sky beasts, there isn't too much in the way of evidence. Werewolf Now, strangely in a way, this one is real. At least in GTA Online, not even as an easter egg, but as a free mode update, seemingly inspired by the 80s film Teen Wolf. And it's introduced as a game mode in which a player controls the beast, aka the werewolf, which the other players have to kill, with the mode being called Hunt the Beast. And also, since the director mode update, you can actually find and fight the beast in GTA 5 by collecting seven golden peyote plants in a pretty strange and complex easter egg. We'll get into that a little later. The Drifter This alleged myth and NPC is said to be found in the Grand Sonora Desert, roaming at night, seen dressed in a black trench coat, pants, and a hat, wielding a shotgun. Kind of similar to the Mr. Trenchcoat myth from San Andreas, although this NPC was said to attack the player on sight. And there have been a few sightings of him out in the desert, although it's believed that this person is actually just a police officer, whose clothes looked black because of it being dark outside. UFOs Now, UFOs, much like in real life, are some of the biggest myths out there in the GTA games. But in this game, they really took it up a notch, most likely as a nod to the myth hunting community. As UFOs aren't just a myth, but can actually be seen at numerous points in the game. You can find a sunken UFO on the northern coast of San Andreas, and after completing the game to 100%, you can find three different UFOs, one at Fort Zancudo, another at Beam Me Up, and the last one at Mount Chiliad. Also, besides that, there are many other references to UFOs and aliens throughout the game, some of which we've already touched on. But even still, some report seeing other UFOs in the sky, typically at night, even without the game being 100%ed, 
which are said to be seen above the Grand Sonora Desert and Fort Zancudo, but these are most likely just hoaxes. Ghost Train And here we have yet another proven myth, although not so much a myth, more like a glitch. Kind of disappointing to hear that, I know, but it's still kind of interesting. In both GTA Online and the base game, sometimes there can be seen train cars moving along the tracks with no actual locomotive. And usually on the same track, a regular train will eventually catch up to these lone cars and go right through them, which is kind of strange, because usually nothing can stop a train in this game. The Jackal Another myth similar to that of the Hellhounds and Chupacabra, this creature is said to be found in the mountain ranges and the Grand Sonora Desert, and is reported as being a dog-like creature with red eyes, that if encountered by the player will attack and kill them on sight. It's also said to make demonic-like sounds when it is nearby. However, despite some investigations and some reports and sightings, it seems this creature isn't real. Most of the sounds can be attributed to dogs or other creature sounds which can be played randomly, and the accounts of people being attacked by this creature have no evidence sadly. Destructive Airplanes Despite this being a thing in San Andreas, it also happens sometimes in GTA V, although much less frequently. And of course it's simply a glitch, although it can be momentarily kind of jarring to see it happen. Usually it only occurs when switching between characters, or for some reason sometimes by Michael's house, most likely due to the geometry in that part of the map. Although the pilots in these planes usually will reroute in order to avoid objects, unlike the planes in San Andreas. Swamp Monster This is yet another real life urban legend and creature that has made its way into GTA Mythos. And this swamp monster, as it's called, is supposedly found in a swamp near Fort Zancudo, and it's described as a grayish creature that is similar to that of Sasquatch, although it crawls on four legs. And strangely, a lot of the sightings here can actually be explained, at least somewhat, as it was discovered that there was a rather odd glitch which would occur to deer in that area where for some reason, some deer would spawn in using the soldier push-up animation, causing a pretty strange scene, which some may have confused for the monster. Jetpack The jetpack is an iconic GTA vehicle, most prominently featured in San Andreas, so it's no surprise that many theorized it could be found in this game, especially since there are many references to it such as the mural located at Mount Chiliad in the cable car station, which shows the jetpack, at the very least as a reference to San Andreas. But that's not where this myth ends, because this jetpack thing is linked to the larger mystery of Mount Chiliad, which is one of the biggest mysteries in the whole GTA franchise that has spanned years of investigations and many believed that the jetpack was in the game, hidden away somewhere on the map in a secret location. Kind of like the jetpack at Area 69 in San Andreas, but this time much more cryptic. But sadly it was never found. But in the actual code of the game, particularly in the 1.12 update, code was found for the jetpack, and sure enough it was eventually added to GTA Online in the Doomsday update in the form of the Thruster. Tongva Hills Creature Said to be found roaming and stalking the area around Tongva Hills, this cryptid known as the Tongva Hills Creature is quite mysterious, in that there is no established look of the cryptid, although some believe it could be related to the Swamp Monster myth, and it's said to be most active at night and during stormy weather conditions. This myth was most likely created in regards to strange NPC deaths and sounds that occur in the area, which haven't been explained. Although it could simply be an NPC spawning glitch, and the sounds could be from other wildlife in the game. Alien Egg This is related to the aliens and the North Yankton creature we talked about earlier, although I saved this one for its own entry. Because, yeah, aliens are very much a thing in this game. 
From the actual alien found in North Yankton, to the many appearances and nods to UFOs in the game, to this very strange alien egg, which can be found in the water near the sonar docks, and actually appears to have been hatched. And similar to the jetpack, the alien egg is also part of the Mount Chiliad mystery, and was also something planned for GTA Online as this egg is part of a hidden supply run mission which can happen randomly between the hours of 9pm and 11pm, after doing 600 total supply missions. In this mission, you have to take supplies from a crashed UFO, where an alien egg can also be found. And there is even a hidden egg in Cayo Perico under the water. Bigfoot. Of course I had to save the best for last, and most of you probably already know, Bigfoot is in the game. It's not a myth, it's a full on easter egg, complete with a side mission. And it's a great nod to the myth hunting community. Once you reach 100% game completion, you get one final side mission, called The Last One, in which Franklin is tasked by a stranger who seems very reminiscent of a similar character in Red Dead Redemption, to kill Bigfoot. However, the Sasquatch is really just a man in a suit. You can also briefly see Bigfoot in the mission Predator when zooming in with a scope, and there are many other references to him throughout the game. I mean, this is the most iconic myth we're talking about here. Also, remember that peyote plant easter egg I briefly mentioned? Yeah, I left a little something out for this part. You actually become Bigfoot. That's right, once you complete the game to 100%, complete the last one side mission, and find a peyote plant on a Tuesday between 5.30 and 8am during foggy or snowy weather, I know this easter egg is pretty wild, you will become Bigfoot. Now do this with all 7 of the peyote plants and you can fight the beast as Bigfoot. Really just one of the most wild easter eggs we've seen from Rockstar in my opinion. Bridge Trolls This is a pretty strange and lesser known myth from Vice City, one that became relevant much after the release of the game. They are said to be strange creatures that live and hide under the many bridges in the game, such as near Vice Point, Vice City River, and Washington Beach. And it's been claimed by players that these creatures try to hide and stay away from the player and aren't typically hostile. However, there isn't too much else to say other than this isn't real, and there's no evidence of any trolls in the game. Lighthouse Witch At a particular lighthouse located in Ocean Beach, there's said to be a witch that occupies and haunts the area. It's been rumored that she took over the lighthouse and belongs to a coven of witches, which is actually referenced in one of the radio stations called K-Chat. She has been said to be seen in or around the structure, usually at night. And despite there being some references to witches in the actual game, this one is not true. Shadow Man This is a really strange and obscure myth originating from a video investigation of Vice City, particularly around Avery Towers, where a strange pedestrian was sighted who appeared to be a homeless pedestrian that was for some reason shrouded in all black, which led to him being dubbed the Shadow Man. Since then, some have also claimed to have encountered this entity and that it also chased them or even attacked the player, but these are undocumented. This is most likely nothing more than a rare glitched NPC. UFOs Gotta have them in every game, right? But interestingly, this game really did have UFOs. Well, it has at least one, in the form of an easter egg. As at the Interglobal Film Studios, there can be found a small UFO prop. Also in the studio, there is a moon landing set, probably as a reference to conspiracies of the moon landing being faked in a movie studio, and interestingly there is a texture on the moon that looks kind of like an alien, which is most likely also part of this easter egg. However, there have also been claims of UFO sightings, just like in all of the other games, a lot of them pointing to the glowing red lights in the sky as proof. 
Although, these are navigation lights for airplanes, and a lot of the other alleged UFO sightings were also just mistaken aircraft. Quicksand. Okay, so we have another true myth here. Well, at least in terms of it being an interesting glitch. Basically, near Eddie's sign in North Beach, there is a section of sand that appears to be quicksand, as many NPCs end up getting trapped in it. And this has also even been reported to happen in other areas of the map, and can even happen to the player. Ghost Ships This is a kind of strange and actually proven phenomenon that can be found in Vice City, which is that if you look out into the distance at the sea, there can be ships that are seen for only a short amount of time before disappearing, usually only visible for about 5 to 10 seconds before they're gone. But this is just a way of Rockstar being able to make the game seem more alive, without having too many assets loaded in at all times. Not much else to this other than that. It's also in some of the other games though, like San Andreas as well. Ninjas yeah, remember when I talked about this in the GTA 4 video? I wasn't kidding. Originating from a gaming forum called the Neo Seeker, there were claims and rumors circulating about ninjas and spies that would stalk the player, typically at the Ocean Bay Marina. Now, obviously this isn't real, but this myth is not only pretty funny, but it's also one of the earliest reported myths in GTA ever, starting way back with the release of this game in 2002, which I thought was really interesting. Demonic Body So when you see this image, what do you see? Well, according to some myth hunters, this appears to be a demon with wings which can be found in the form of this strange symmetrical texture, located in Skumal Shack, which is kind of a creepy location on its own. It also reminds me of the demonic looking textures from San Andreas, but let me know, does this even look like a demon to you? To me, it honestly just looks like one of those Rorschach tests or something. Dwarves this is another pretty goofy one, to be honest, kind of similar to the bridge trolls, and these are said to have been spotted in alleyways and some other locations in the game, reported as very short people, about 2 or 3 feet in height. But this might all just be due to the fact that there are some very small doors that are maybe only 3 feet high, which many average sized people wouldn't normally fit through, but other than that, there really isn't much to this, honestly. Crocodiles Crocodiles were a pretty big myth in GTA 4, usually said to be spotted in the storm drains, similar to real life sightings. Not like it's a mythical creature or anything, but you get what I mean. And we know of course Vice City is based on the real life city of Miami, Florida, and everyone also knows that Florida is known for having crocodiles and alligators. Or maybe one of those, I don't really know. But it makes sense that people would assume that they're in the game. And also, since we're going back to Vice City in GTA 6, according to the leaks, hopefully they will be included in that game. But in this Vice City here, there is no solid proof of their existence. But there is a sign that can be found at Greasy Chopper that says, Crocodiles No Swimming. There's also other crocodile souvenirs that can be found at FUD's gift shop. But most interestingly, there was a cut location that may have existed in early builds of the game called Gator Keys, which most likely would have had alligators or crocodiles, as it most likely would have had swamps. Really interesting piece of cut content for sure, and who knows, maybe it will appear in GTA 6. Bridge Abductor This one is pretty strange and out there, even for GTA myths but this is partly based on real-life cases of babies being snatched out of cribs on a bridge in Queens, New York. Now, I already know what you're thinking. Uh, source, this is Vice City, not GTA 4. You sure this is from the right game? Yep. For some reason, some believed that there was a bridge abductor found under the North Bridge in the game. However, there is obviously no proof of this. I guess it's just because the North Bridge may have some similarities to the real-life Queensboro Bridge, but that's about it. Max Payne 
Another Rockstar character from another game, this time we have Max Payne, who appeared in his breakthrough hit in 2001. And like most Rockstar projects, there are references to them in the GTA games. However, there's not really much evidence at all of Max appearing in the game himself. Although apparently there have been alleged sightings which are attributed to skins and mods. Sea Monster the Sea Monster is another very similar myth to many others from the GTA games, and real life as well. Pretty much Vice City's version of the Loch Ness Monster. It's said to be spotted around the Bridges, Washington Beach, North and South Beach, as well as the Washington Beach River, and just about every other area where there's water, to be honest. And it's been said that the creature is known to flip over boats, killing those in it by drowning with reports of it even happening to players. This is a really cool myth though because it's one of the earliest ones, dating back to the initial release, with players first noting strange objects and shapes in the water, and eventually boats flipping for no discernible reason, and eventually just straight up sightings. And I like that subtle evolution, similar to how urban legends start in the real world. Dracula this is another early myth that got some traction on gaming forums back in the day, as it was said that Dracula could be found in the game, wearing his signature black cape. But yeah, this isn't real. But there is a kind of strange vampire character, called Constantino Smith, that is referenced on the radio stations, although he can't actually be encountered. There's also a Dracula portrait easter egg at the cemetery, but that's about it. Ghost Girl. This one is more so another kind of simple glitch. Basically if you pick up one of the female pedestrians seen around the beach and drive into the water with a motorcycle, then the NPC will just vanish, or even fall into the water and die before reappearing on the bike when you exit the water. Kind of weird, but just some sort of glitch. Chainsaw Killer This is really interesting. So in the game, there is a specific apartment called Apartment 3C, which is notable for this eerie scene found in the bathroom. The walls covered in blood as well as a chainsaw pickup and drugs can also be found in the apartment, leading some people to think that there is some sort of chainsaw killer on the loose. And upon finding out about this, many people began to speculate and even say that they heard or saw the killer around Vice City. Some also think this chainsaw-wielding killer could possibly be Pigsy from Manhunt, although that doesn't really make much sense considering Manhunt wasn't released until 2003. But this myth is not true. When you realize that Apartment 3C is simply just an easter egg, and actually a pretty cool reference to the gangster film Scarface, where a very similar scene occurs, involving a drug deal gone wrong as well as a chainsaw in an apartment. Still, some believe that there is a chainsaw serial killer somewhere out there in Vice City. Megalodon We got sharks again, but not just any shark. The Big Shark, also called the Megalodon or the Giant Shark, based on the real-life extinct species. And if you haven't played Vice City, sharks are actually in the game. It's no myth like some of the others, but the big boy himself, well, that's a different story. There are some sightings and even reports of this massive shark found in the waters surrounding Vice City. Although, these are most likely just regular sharks, as they are rather big for some reason. Although, there is a pretty large shark that can be found in the Interglobal Studios film set, but this is also just a prop. Albino Creature Yet another alleged cryptid and creature said to be found in the ocean, said to be spotted near the Vice City stacks and this white looking creature is said to escape into the sea caves or the water when seen by the player, moving at a very fast speed, and was usually also said to be seen during foggy weather specifically. However, these sightings were simply textures of the stack that were misidentified as some sort of creature, which was in a lot of instances obscured by the foggy weather. 
North Beach Ghost. Here we have another alleged ghost, one said to be seen haunting North Beach, a kind of strange part of the map due to there not being too many pedestrians around. This rumor was also started thanks in part to another myth called the Vice Beach Mystery, which concerns the idea of pedestrians in the area suddenly disappearing and literally vanishing out of sight. However, this ghost has no evidence, and the disappearing NPCs is either a glitch or due to them despawning from being too far away from the player. Frankie Carbone Okay, so this might be one of my favorite Rockstar Easter eggs ever. Not really a myth, but more of just a reference to my favorite movie of all time, Goodfellas. Which we can see in the opening scene. Of course, it's all the more cool because Ray Liotta voices the main character Tommy, and was also the protagonist and narrator of Goodfellas, Henry Hill. And there are many other movie references in the game, such as of course the Scarface one we discussed earlier. Frankenstein So this refers to the pretty famous monster that is commonly just called Frankenstein, but is actually Frankenstein's monster, at least according to the original story. Anyway, the creature is said to have been spotted on Prawn Island, although there really is no evidence of his existence, although there are references to it, such as with the movie poster for Lady Frankenstein, but the myth of this actual monster is not real. Giant Spiders Returning to the cemetery, or at least that area, we have the myth of giant spiders. And this myth kind of started because of a house located near the cemetery, called House Number 252, which has a strange object that can be seen in the window. And there are many interpretations of what this could be. Some think it's a ghost, and some think it is either a giant spider or the web of a giant spider for some reason. Yeah, there really isn't much else to this. Bigfoot I know, I know, but it wouldn't be a GTA Myth video without Bigfoot. Spoiler alert, it's a popular urban legend in every main game. But this is probably the least prominent Bigfoot myth of all of them. However, like a lot of the other urban legends in this game, there are film posters that are kind of similar. There's one that looks like either Bigfoot or maybe a reference to King Kong. Also some people point to a certain grass texture that could look like a large foot impression. Although it can only be seen from a far away distance and is most likely a draw distance bug. And there really is no proof of Bigfoot in this game. Volt Monster this is an obscure myth regarding an alleged creature found living behind a certain pain spray in Washington Beach, said to be created as a result of high voltages. And I guess this myth and rumor simply started because of some of the signs in the area, talking about engines and petroleum mixtures, but this is simply just a strange rumor. Shipping Company Worker so this refers to a worker for a shipping company called Spand Express, which is prominently featured in the mission Phnom Penh 86, where Lance pilots a helicopter and flies under a bridge. And if the player looks behind the helicopter, a certain worker can be seen jumping off the bridge and hitting the helicopter, and then falling to his death in the water. And it's thought that this is similar to other occurrences in games like San Andreas, and is simply due to a pedestrian spawn glitch. Although some think this could be an easter egg, and a worker ending themselves due to losing their job. Super Cop This refers to certain policemen who randomly become invincible and can sometimes even move extremely fast and teleport around typically using it to arrest and kill the player when they have a wanted level. And there are documented instances of this happening, although they are most likely just glitches. As boring as that answer really is, there is no other explanation really. Dogs Dogs! Some believed at some point dogs were planned to be in Vice City, 
Citing a $25 fine in violation with something to do with dogs. I don't know, it's kind of low res. As well as another sign that says no kids or dogs after 7pm. However, there really is no other evidence of dogs existing in any of the game files. Horses. Similarly, it was thought that there could have been horses in GTA Vice City. At least that's how the rumor goes. And like any good rumor, it begins with someone claiming their uncle or some relative works at the company. One of these claims comes from the very early days of the game in September of 2002 from the good old Neo Seeker forms, which reads, quote, Anyways, I ask her what does she know about GTA Miami, and she says, Well, when I say I seen them play it, what I mean is that I was only in the room for a few seconds at a time, so I didn't really get a good look at it. I prompt her by asking about what kind of cars and stuff did you see them driving, and she says, I seen them driving a moped type motor bice, and some weird looking beach cars that looked like those golf carts, and there was one time when they were riding a horse. But then she gets all defensive and says that they work on loads of different games at Rockstar, and it could be a different game she's talking about. So does this read like a bad creepypasta? Yes. But still, I thought it was funny to include here. There are no horses in the game at all, and they are only ever referenced a few times by characters. Godzilla. <laughs> yeah, so apparently Godzilla, the king of monsters, was said to be found in Vice City. At least, outside of the boundaries of the map. Reported to be out in the far distance, typically traveling along the ocean near the beaches. But uh, yeah, this is obviously not real. But you know, nowadays anything can happen. I mean, they actually had Godzilla in Warzone, right? So maybe in GTA 6 or something. Cement Shoe Man So this is actually a true and pretty creepy one. A sort of strange easter egg created by Rockstar. There are two of these men that can be found underwater, missing all of their clothes, presumably tortured and drowned by the Mafia as this was most likely a reference to real-life cases, using cement or other heavy objects to weigh someone down before throwing them into the ocean to drown a horrible death. This method of execution is even referenced by Ken Rosenberg in the final mission of the game. Really interesting easter egg by Rockstar. Demonical Outcast this is a strange one associated with the location of the secluded church, where these demonic entities are said to be found. Specifically, it's said that in the alleyway near the church, during foggy or stormy weather, this demon can be encountered, said to be a huge creature with chains wrapped around its head. Sadly though, this entity is not actually real. Ghost Rider Another myth originating from the early days of the game, also on Neo Seeker. This one is about a certain strange blue bike that could be seen driving around downtown Vice City without an actual biker. At least that's how the reports and sightings go. So it's either some sort of glitch, as similar things have happened before in other games, or it's just a hoax. Zombie Elvis Starting it off here in GTA 3, we have a pretty strange one. In the in-game newspaper Liberty Cock, yes, that's the name of it, there can be found an article with a headline reading, Zombie Elvis Found, with a picture of him included. This is most likely a reference to alleged sightings of Elvis after his death in 1977, which was a popular real-life urban legend for a while. However, there is no actual Elvis zombie in the game, only this weird easter egg. Ghost Town This is a normally inaccessible part of the map that is used in the opening cutscenes, and can only be accessed via glitches. However, some believed that this was a planned and secret fourth island, 
However, Rockstar responded saying, quote, We didn't take an island out of the game. There were only ever the three. We think what people refer to as Ghost Town is just the small area of a city we built for the bank heist scene at the very start of the game. It never had a name, but we wanted it to be somewhere separate from the Liberty map, and so we built these few streets floating in space and assumed no one would ever find them. We noticed someone built a bridge mod so you can actually drive there now. Amazing. Falling Lemmings This is another one that is pretty much in most of the games in some capacity, which interestingly got its name from another game called The Lemmings created by DMA Design, Rockstar North's original company name. But yeah, you probably know the drill by now. These are just glitched NPCs who, due to pathing errors, will usually fall or run off cliffs to their deaths. In GTA 3, this can usually be seen happening at Bedford Point Expressway and Wichita Gardens. Darkle now, despite GTA 3 not having as many myths as the other games, it still has some interesting cases, such as that of the cut character Darkle, who I did an entire video about. But I'll still give the brief history on why this very real character is thought to be one of the darkest and disturbing of the whole series. Basically, this cut hobo character NPC was meant to give Claude missions, but was eventually removed from the game leading to a whole host of rumors and myths related to his missions and how disturbing they were, such as making the player kill numerous pedestrians, commit terrorist attacks, and even blow up school buses. However, Rockstar denied these rumors, stating, quote, Darkle was just a crazy bum who gave you some crazy missions. They were removed a few months before the game was done, and long before 9-11, because they just weren't as good as the rest of the game and tonally they were a little odd. He started with five missions and they were slowly all cut. When only one or two were left, they were all removed as the character just didn't work alongside the other characters. None of these missions involved blowing up buses of school children, although that is a funny rumor. Haunted Bathroom this is a location in Belleville Park that is said to be haunted, with ghosts said to appear in or around the bathroom, with some also reporting that they heard footsteps when entering it. But there really is no proof of any such activity. Zaibatsu Corporation Now this one is just really cool. So if you've never played the really old GTA games, I'm talking the top down ones, well, you might be surprised to hear that GTA 2 was actually set in the near future, at least at the time, leading to a kind of retro futuristic setting. But in the game, there is a faction, a company called the Zaibatsu Corporation, which was the most prominent gang in the game. However, it's been proven that the Zaibatsu Corporation was going to have a much bigger role in GTA 3, as in the final release, it's only briefly mentioned, but there could be posters found of the corporation in early screenshots, although it's unknown what else was planned for this group in the game. Bigfoot Well, did this surprise anyone? No, I didn't think so. It really wouldn't be a GTA game if there wasn't a Bigfoot myth of some kind, right? But from my understanding, no one really thought Bigfoot was in the game until San Andreas came along. And then people went back to this and claimed they saw him, possibly somewhere in the Cedar Grove woods. But uh, yeah, I'm sure no surprises here, Bigfoot is not in GTA 3. Serial Killer Much like the Bigfoot myth, it seems almost every GTA game also has some sort of serial killer myth and GTA 3 is no different. Appearing very similar to Mr. Trenchcoat from San Andreas, this NPC is said to be a serial killer that would sometimes attack pedestrians and the player on site randomly. But also there is a character called Marty Chonks who shares the same trench coat and hat, who also gives Claude missions and really is a serial killer, as his missions involve Claude bringing him various victims before he himself is killed. So this character could be why those rumors about the other NPCs started in the first place. Distant Eyes This is a pretty strange and interesting one, 
and a relatively early one too in the GTA Myth timeline, as it was reported in old gaming forms. That being that there could occasionally be found a pair of glowing yellow eyes in the distant sky staring back at the player. This one is a little more probable than the others, and could potentially be some sort of lighting glitch or something like that. Ratman and our boy Ratman also returns. Now, this was the big myth in GTA 4, which also takes place in a New York-like setting, Liberty City of course, so people went back to look for him in GTA 3. Also, very similarly, sightings were typically reported in subway areas, and there's even a poster there called Rats, but this is just an obvious parody of Cats. Although some have posed a connection between Darkle and Ratman, insinuating they might actually be the same character. And that wraps up this video on the myths and legends of the GTA games. I know, we covered a lot here. From the well-known ones, to the very obscure sightings that not many fans of these games even know about. But the thing is, there are still plenty more myths out there in these games. So definitely let me know if you remember some from your childhood, or that you might have searched for in any of these games. I love reading about these myths, even if most of them are just false reports, rumors, or straight up hoaxes. It's all just some good nostalgic fun in my eyes. But yeah, stay tuned for more videos coming very soon. Definitely plan on covering Red Dead Redemption in the future, so look forward to that as well. Anyways, it's been me Sourcebrew, and I will see you with the next one. Peace.